70 missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are safe after a terrifying ordeal on Friday. A church spokesperson says they were robbed at gunpoint at a conference in Mexico. Fox 13's John Franke has reaction from loved ones of one of those missionaries and shows us how the community is coming together to help. That group of 70 includes 53 elder and 17 sister missionaries. Most have already contacted their families here in the U.S. to let them know they're doing fine. One father tells us this incident is not slowing them down in the work they've been called to do. As a parent, you're, you're scared on how, how, they, how they feel, how they were emotionally affected by it. Saturday, Brian Trotter and his wife received a reassuring phone call from their son, Elder Elijah Trotter, who's serving his mission in Torreon, Mexico. On that call, he described what happened as a group of missionaries were finishing up a devotional portion of his own conference. He said we were we were just sitting down when when two men came came bursting in, screaming profanities, it chamber chamber chambered their guns, you know, I'm sure for the dramatic effect, and uh, made everybody um, move from the tables they were sitting at, get on the floor. In a statement, the church said some of the missionaries were hit or kicked. The mission president, Alfredo Zanudu, and his wife, Guadalupe, were also assaulted. When they came in, he said the, the mission president, his wife, took a lot of the beating from them in an, you know, obviously in an attempt to try to protect the missionaries as their mission president, his wife. This happened in central Mexico. Luckily, nobody was seriously injured. Brian says the call with his son didn't last very long. He said, I, I have a baptism of this amazing guy in, a, in about an hour, and I need to fill the baptismal font. It's an event Elder Trotter did not want to postpone. And he's like, of course not. You can't stop hope. We have to move forward. As the missionaries continue their work, families like the Trotters are working to send their sons and daughters items to replace what was stolen. Now one small business is offering to help. We feel like this is the little that we can do and just to pay it forward. Danny Rios Lazo is with a company called Mission on the Fly. They hand deliver care packages to missionaries in Central and South America. They're offering their services at no charge to families with missionaries in Torreon, Mexico. As they go ahead and they send us their package, we can do a free delivery for them uh, and with the holidays, they can definitely also add some goodies to that as well. It's examples like this that offer Brian hope. In time of need, look for those that are helping. There's always those that are helping, and this is no different. Lots of people are stepping up to you know to hug and love these missionaries. A message his son won't be deterred from sharing. His message is always there is so much beauty in the world, and there are so many amazing, kind, generous, loving people. You just, you just got to look for them. Mission on the Fly is also collecting donations. To learn more on how you can help or to be connected to their services, we have their website link on ours. In the newsroom, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.